there were eight of us. We were all around the same age, and out of those eight, um, I'm, I'm the only one that survived. story starts when I was five. My dad took me to a football game and we went and visited the Walk of Champions before the game. I remember seeing Chucky Mullins leading the team down the Walk of Champions in his wheelchair and I cried all day because I didn't think it was fair that that one boy was in a wheelchair and none of the rest of the team were in wheelchairs. But I also remember seeing how the Ole Miss fans high-fived him and cheered him on just like he was part of the team. And from that day forward, I remember being completely passionate about Ole Miss football and Ole Miss in general. Unfortunately, when I was 15 in the year 2000, I was diagnosed with leukemia. It was actually a weekend where there was no home game, so thankfully my plans weren't interrupted, but unfortunately the rest of my life was. The cool thing that actually came out of all of that was the Ole Miss family and how they rallied around me. People had athletes and coaches from every sport sending me signed pictures, footballs, jerseys, you name it, I got it. When I was going through chemo, I met a guy, his name was Todd Stevens, and he and I became best friends. And for my 16th birthday, Todd told his mom that he wanted to get me a present that no one would ever be able to get me a duplicate of. His church held a sports auction every year to help fund their mission trips, and so they told the sports memorabilia dealer to get something really unique and cool that was Ole Miss. And so the guy came up with this actual game-worn Chucky Mullins jersey. It was signed by Peyton Manning and Archie Manning. There were eight of us that went through chemo together. We were all around the same age. Todd was the last of the eight to pass away. And out of those eight, um, I'm, I'm the only one that survived. The Ole Miss family really showed up for me during that time. And it made me realize what a special place it really was. Unfortunately, my life kind of took a little bit of a detour and I didn't go to Ole Miss for undergrad, but I knew one day I would come back to Ole Miss and get a degree from there. A few summers ago, I actually graduated from Ole Miss with my MBA and it was the greatest moment of my life to finally become an alumni of the place that rallied around me and that showed me what being a family truly was. You don't have to be blood, but you all share a common bond. And that's what Ole Miss is, and that's what we embody every single day. The one thing that really kept me going through chemo and through actually my whole life was Chucky's phrase of never quit. And I think that just sticks with you. Doesn't matter if you're battling chemo or you're having a hard day at work, just never quit, just keep moving forward. This year on September 22nd, we play Kent State in football at home. And I'm so excited because that is actually my 18 year diagnosis anniversary. We've planned our tailgate to be a huge party. We're inviting everybody we know and everyone that will help me through that journey. And of course, number 18 is pretty special to Ole Miss. I'm sure I don't have to remind you of a guy named Archie. But the one thing that I really want to do on that day of celebration is bringing it back to where it all started, my love for Ole Miss. And my love for Ole Miss started on the Walk of Champions. I can think of no better way to celebrate my 18-year diagnosis anniversary than leading the team down that same walk that Chucky led his team down that day. So, since it is the year of the fan, I'm going to ask, make this fan's lifelong dream come true, help me celebrate my huge milestone, and let the rest of my Ole Miss story start on that walk of champions. So I have one question for you. Are you ready? Hotty toddy.